For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. It is incredibly important for us to unite to free Mumia Abu-Jamal. He has been in prison for over 40 years for a crime he did not commit, for his outspoken defense of uh, black people, of people who are struggling against the U.S. government, against gentrification, and he was framed and he was set up at a time when the the Philadelphia Police Department and government was rampant with KKK members and, and uh, white council members. But now it is a very even more critical time for Mumia because he is 67 years old and he has incredible health problems that were developed inside. And it's important that you all know that Mamiya is innocent and that we will rally around his freedom with him having his heart surgery and then t with his chain um, shackles on his hospital bed. We are aware that they are still trying to put their And it's important to talk about Mumia as a journalist because, you know, his skill as a journalist, first of all, was recognized. At one point, he was, you know, the head of the uh, Philadelphia Association of Black Journalists. I mean, this is an award-winning journalist, but he was also, uh, he was one of the few people in Philadelphia who was doing sympathetic coverage of the Moo family, who was under siege by uh, the racist uh, uh, Philadelphia Police Department. And, you know, and they would move, of course, would go on to be bombed. Those who weren't bombed were, were railroaded into prison. You had the move nine. You know, they were eventually released after years and things like this. But Mumia was shining a light on what was happening with the move family. And as a result, was shining a light on the long running issue of racist police terror inside Philadelphia. And so we also have to understand the connection between racist police terror and the suppression of political dissent that the police are in place to do as well.